Let a and b be two positive real numbers. First draw a square with side length a, and adjacent to that draw a square with side length b. In each square we can draw the diagonals and use the intersection to draw a line from the center of the square to the midpoint of the base of the square. This process has created isosceles right triangles in either square, one of them with a side length of a over 2 and one of them with a side length of b over 2. Now we can connect the center points of the two squares to create a right triangle pictured here. The legs of this right triangle are a divided by the square root of 2 and b divided by the square root of 2 since both of those are hypotenuses of the previously described right triangles. But then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find that the hypotenuse of this triangle is the square root of a squared over 2 plus b squared over 2. The two isosceles right triangles and the shaded purple triangle create a trapezoid. From this trapezoid, we see that the one side length given by a over 2 plus b over 2 is less than or equal to the longer side length, which is given by the square root of a squared over 2 plus b squared over 2. No matter the sizes of a and b, we see that we can always create this diagram with an a by a square and a b by b square, and a triangle connecting their center points. This triangle is part of a trapezoid, and the trapezoid has one long side and one short side. So the inequality is always strict, except in the one situation where the side length a equals the side length b. Therefore, a over 2 plus b over 2 is less than or equal to the square root of a squared over 2 plus b squared over 2, and equality occurs if and only if a equals b. a over 2 plus b over 2 is the arithmetic mean of a and b, and the square root of a squared over 2 plus b squared over 2 is the root mean square of a and b. So this is known as the arithmetic mean root mean square inequality.